slide, stand by. 15. All right, Be Fit Nation, it's good to have you back. Welcome in, get settled in, because today we have a great program to work out for you today. All right, before we get started, let's jump into some small details here. First off, it's great to have you back, Be Fit Nation. It's great to have you back within this Monday's Be Fit Live program workout. If you're new to the program, welcome in. All right, team. Um, <clears throat> again, if you're new, uh, settle in. Uh, leave us a note in the comments below, uh, right below us here. Uh, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. <clears throat> let us know where you're engaging with us from, right? And we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to see where you're from. We'd like to see where you are moving your active bodies, uh, whichever, wherever it may be, team, all right? Uh, <clears throat> again, so welcome to BeFit Live. This is a chance for us to move our bodies. Uh, any chance that we get, right? We're uh, looking at progressing, moving through our workouts, uh, moving through our hard, hard programmed workouts, uh, but this is a chance to move our bodies here, team. So uh, as we get settled in, uh, my name's uh, BFit Ambassador Roy Montes here. So I'm here to push us every step of the way, every, every rep of the way, but have fun uh, as we <clears throat> push through today's workout, team, all right? Um, again, if you're new, this is a BFit Live, our exchange programmed fitness uh, active body workout. So <clears throat> this is a chance for us, again, to move our bodies here. Uh, we will get started with four movements for today. <clears throat> uh, the movements are going to be very cardio-based, uh, specific movements. So we have a jump squat for movement number one, a dumbbell sumo stance row into a half burpee for movement number two. Movement number three is going to be a dumbbell overhead hold into a reverse lunge. And movement number four to finish us off is going to be a half knee dumbbell diagonal lift <clears throat> to really help engage our core. Our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds, team. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right. Again, with those four different movements, really looking at engaging <clears throat> specific targeted muscle groups, as well as getting our heart rate elevated for today's cardio based workout. All right, team. Um, go ahead and get your waters, get settled in, find that space that you need to be able to accomplish each of those four movements. I'll go into demonstrating each of those four movements. Listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, anything like that that you can pull away to really execute today's workout. All right, team. <clears throat> With that, let's get started, team. <clears throat> Excuse me. So movement number one here, we have a diagonal, I'm sorry, we have a jump squat, right? A jump squat, not only that, but a 90 degree turn at the top of your jump. So with that, we're gonna find our space, find our footing. As always with our jump squat, we wanna be shoulder width apart on our foot stance, right? Nice soft bend at our knees as always to really absorb that weight and take pressure off of our joints. So if this is locked out here, we want just a soft bend to really absorb that weight. All right team, with that feet placement, shoulder width apart, we wanna drop down into our squat, our low squat position, wherever it may be, keeping our chest up and our head looking straight ahead from here. We're gonna drive up and we're gonna turn ever so slightly at about 90 degrees. So here, we're gonna jump up, we're gonna turn and turn, jump back around and jump back around. Just adding that little bit of a twist at the top of our movement really helps engage a little bit of a small muscle fibers inside of our thighs, outside of our glutes, as well as driving up for a nice explosive movement. All right, team? That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, is a bit of a uh, <clears throat> a bit of a, a bit of a couple of movements into one team. So we are looking at a sumo stance row into a half burpee. All right, we're going to make it a half burpee because it's going to go into a high plank. But we want to set ourselves up into a sumo stance. So what that means is our foot placement is going to be wider than shoulder width apart. That's going to help clear our dumbbells into our movement. So as we get settled in. Those dumbbells are gonna be placed right in front of us. So two for one here, we're pushing those hips back, right? Pushing those hips back. Again, soft bend on our knees. Pushing our hips back to really absorb that weight. If you see me from my profile side right here, my hips are getting pushed back 
to counterbalance that weight that I'm about to row with, all right team? So if you're straight up here and you're hinging here, a lot of pressure on our back, we wanna set in and push those hips back. That way we can absorb that weight into that row. So we have a sumo row here. So we're gonna tuck in nice and tight into our, right underneath our chest, right at our navel. That's gonna be our row from there. We're dropping down, coming down into a high plank, which is a half burpee. Coming right back up into our sumo stance, absorbing that weight, sumo row into a half burpee. So as we row through, it'll look like that. All right, that's gonna be movement number two. A lot of action going on there, so take your time, right? Really look at engaging each movement and dividing them as you go, all right team? Movement number three, we are looking at an overhead reverse hold into a lunge. So we're gonna take one dumbbell here, overhead hold into a reverse lunge. We're gonna rack it into an overhead position, holding it there, really activating our shoulder from here find our space on the floor, we're gonna go back into a reverse lunge. So as we take our weight, we're gonna extend back into our reverse lunge, chest stays up, shoulders stay up, dropping that rear knee down, arm is locked out. That's gonna be a bottom of our position. Coming back up, going right back in to our reverse lunge, keeping our core nice and tight. And with our reverse lunge, think about our foot placement as well, feet shoulder width apart, as we go back into that reverse lunge. If you're walking a tightrope with your toes, that's gonna to be a lot more unstable. So find shoulder width apart on that foot placement, drop down into that reverse lunge, and right back up. All right, team, 20 seconds for each arm. So we're gonna switch after that 20 seconds to fulfill our 40 seconds of work, dropping back into a reverse lunge again. So a nice little hold on our shoulders out of movement number three. All right, team, and looking at movement number four, sticking with one dumbbell here, we're gonna take a half knee here. So 20 seconds with one knee down, let's say our right knee, and then 20 seconds with our left. So we're gonna alternate every 20 seconds here. We're gonna take a double grip with our dumbbell. From here, we're gonna go hip, opposite hip to opposite shoulder, keeping our arms relatively straight here from here, crossing our body line diagonally, coming up into a high chop position and then controlling that weight on the way down. Think about core engagement here, thinking about our obliques as we come from the bottom of our movement up to the top, all right? Really forcing us to stabilize once again, since we're on that half knee placement, really forcing us to find that balance, find that control, coming on the way up and on the way down, right? Activating our shoulders once again with this movement, but isolating our core, finding that stability, finding that balance, forcing us to really stabilize with that half knee on the floor. All right, team, so that's gonna be the four movements for today, all right? Again, if you're new, drop us a note, drop us a comment in the Facebook Live here. I have my feed up and running, so if you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave them for me now. Uh, if you're looking for any mods as well, uh, drop them in the comments and I will go ahead and see them, call them out, and let you know what's best, team. All right, as we get started, uh, we will go through a dynamic stretching routine right now. That way we can get prepared and ready to work. And then we'll jump into our workout, right? Just under 20 minutes for the exact workout. So um, let's get started here, team, all right? Again, a lot to go through for today. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna extend it back, take our left arm and extend it straight up. Pushing our hips forward and reaching up as tall as we can here, a little bit taller. Again, feeling that stretch in the front of our hips, in our quads, in our shoulders, our mid to upper back. Go ahead and rotate as fastly, as fast or as slow as you need to. Set into this movement as long or as short as you may need. All right, team? There we go. Good, good. Watch our breathing as well. We wanna scan our bodies here, listen for <clears throat> kind of feeling out any tight areas that we may have. All right, a few more here. Last three, two, one. All right, team, nice wide stance here. Feet fixed, we're gonna go ahead and shift our weight over to the left and the right, and to the left and to the right with lateral lunges here. So nothing too aggressive here, but we wanna go ahead and feel that stretch on the inside of our thighs. Pushing our hips back, chest stays up, arms stay up as well. We wanna make sure that the chest is facing forward. 
rather than the floor. But feeling that stretch on the inside of our thighs. Warming up our legs here, speeding that tempo up just a little bit more to our comfort, to our abilities here. Again, with our BFIT Labs, we wanna push ourselves, we wanna challenge ourselves, but most of all, we wanna have fun and we wanna do it safely. So wherever our fitness level is right now, let's try and meet us there, team. All right, good. Last three here, two, one. All right, team, reverse lunge with an overhead reach for our third dynamic stretch here. So we're gonna to come to the top of our workout space. We're gonna send that rear knee back, rear leg back. Rear leg goes down, right arm comes up and reaches over to our right. Good, feeling that stretch on the back of our lats. Go ahead and shift and alternate legs as quickly again or as slowly as you need. Again, we should be able to feel that blood flow moving through our lower body here, through our hips, really just warming us up here, right? We always want to try and start off our workout in a warmed, primed body rather than a cold start. So setting ourselves up for success here, working through our dynamic stretches. Here we go. Last two, last rep here. All right, team. We do have a lot of shoulder work here. So let's go with YTWs to finish us out here. Okay. We're going to come to the center of our space. All right, again, feet shoulder width apart, set ourselves up from here, this is gonna be center. We're gonna extend our arms to the left and to the right, up into a Y position, thumbs facing the back of the room. From here, that's our Y position, feeling our shoulders activated, our shoulder blades coming back, that's gonna be our Y. Back to our T, squeezing again, pausing at the top. And here's our W, right, feeling that stretch in front of our shoulders, biceps, chest, opening up, good. Back to Y, good team. Back to our T. Nice deep breath in, controlling our heart rate here. Before we get started, good. One more time here, big Y with a smile. There it is, big T. Good, all right, and big W to finish us off. All right, team, take a second here. If you need any additional movement, any additional stretches, go ahead and take the time. You know your body best. Go ahead and take that time to really focus on that right now while I get my timer dialed in, team. Again, just a recap, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. And as a recap, movement number one is a jump squat with a 90 degrees. Movement number two is a dumbbell sumo stance row into a half burpee. Movement number three is your overhead hold with a reverse lunge. And movement number four to finish off our core activated movement is a half knee dumbbell diagonal lift. Good call. All right, team. We will go ahead and set our timers up and then we will get ready to work. All right. So here we go, team. Let's start us off here. Less than 10 seconds here. I am five and outside. Four, three, two, one. One, all right team, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. We're working at a nice jump squat here with a bit of a twist at the top, right? Try to get yourself into those 90 degree twists, sitting back in your jump squat, keeping that chest up. Good, again, that small little twist really activates that inside of your thigh, forcing us to pivot into an explosive movement. Absorb that weight. Try to get a little bit of air in between your feet and the floor. Last three, two, one. All right, team, shake that one off here. Good job, grab that pair of dumbbells here. Bit of a complex movement here. Sumo stance into a row. All right, find our space. Again, we're going into a laid out position. So we need all the space that we have for today. All right, team, here we go. Two, one, setting those hips back. Once again, soft bend at those knees. We're gonna row up into a sumo row and then into that half burpee, all right? Sumo row, half burpee. Nice controlled movements. All right, good. Good, work through it here. I know round one is always the most challenging. We're learning the movements here. Last eight seconds here. 
Go as slow or as fast as you need. Two, one, and recover here. Good job. All right, drop one dumbbell. There we are. Okay, moving number three. We're looking at an overhead hold with our reverse lunge. Getting a lot of lower body activation here. So, set ourselves up. Holding that weight up overhead and pressing back into that reverse lunge. Good, remember feet, shoulder width apart. We're gonna work for 20 seconds on one arm fully extended. Seven more seconds here, we'll switch arms with our weight, two, one. Go ahead and make that switch. My left arm is up, continuing with my reverse lunges. Good, 10 seconds here. Keep pushing, keep driving up. Five seconds here, team. Good. And time. Go ahead and set. One dumbbell down. Pick, pick whichever dumbbell you need. It's a great time to take that half knee, right? Because we're moving to a half knee diagonal lift. So eight seconds here. Find that weight of choice. Remember, nice strong core, feet, shoulder width apart. Two, one, from our hip. Up, diagonal, up into our opposite shoulder. Really think about that nice strong pull with our core engagement. Good. Five seconds here. We'll go ahead and switch legs in two, one. All right, team, switch your lead foot here. My right foot is up, my left is back. Now I'm going from left hip to right shoulder. Again, relatively straight arms here. Good, five, four seconds here. Good job, team. Last two, last one. All right, here's where we get our 30 second recovery break here, team. All right, this is where we really get to focus, dial in, and see how we feel through this workout, team. All right, again, let me know how you're doing, team. Let me know if you're with me. Drop me a note in the comments. Leave a comment for me. Let me know how we're doing. And again, again, this is a great time to share this workout with friends, with family, with spouses, coworkers. Let's help keep each other accountable. Have fun doing it, right? Have fun staying active. Have fun staying active here. We wanna stay ready, we wanna stay resilient. We wanna stay fit, team. All right, finding our space here, finding that water, finding that hydration. 15 seconds here to kind of switch, recalibrate, and head into that second round of four. We have three more rounds all together here. So jump squats with that 90 degree coming up in four seconds, team. All right, here we go, two. One, and we are off. Finding that low squat position. Once again, nice elevated movement here. We need to scale back, team. Maybe our jump isn't as high, or maybe it's a squat, turn. Squat, turn. Minus that air jump. Good, 17 seconds here. Good, using your arms for momentum here. Thrusting up, driving up, finding our footing. Good job, team two, one. All right, stand up nice and tall, nice and proud. Sumo stance row with a half burpee. This time, we are gonna scale up in our rows, team, all right? First is one row, second rep, two rows. Third rep, three rows. All the way up to five. All right, team, here we go. And Time. So here we go, let's start. Sumo stance, one row, one burpee, we're right back up. Two rows. We're gonna pyramid up into our row sequence. Three rows here for me. Again, sumo stance, nice wide stance into that half burpee, forcing us to get down four here. Good, a little bit of upper back activation. Our lats are engaging. Our glutes are engaging. Five for me, then I'll scale back down to four if I need. One, two, three, four, good. Last second here. Standing up nice and tall, catching our breath here. Reverse lunge with a hold up top. Probably one dumbbell. 10 seconds here, team. Good job. Stay with me here. 
Five seconds. Three, two. All right, then here we go. Full extension here. Reverse lunge. Nice controlled movements here. Kick that arm out for counterbalance if you need. Seven seconds and we'll switch arms. Nice control here, team. Two, last rep. I'm gonna switch out now. There we go, front rack here. Good, driving up through that front leg, that heel, utilizing our quads to get us up into the standing position. Five seconds here, team. Three, two, finish it out wherever you are. Good job. All right, dropping that half knee here. Good, half knee, dumbbell, diagonal lifts. Five seconds here, team. I know. All right, finding that hip. <laughs> finding that hip here, engaging those shoulders here. Engaging our obliques, our core. Five more seconds here. We're gonna find that alternate arm here, that alternate leg, switching out here. My right leg is up, pulling from my left side up into my right. Good, 10 seconds here. Last five, our torso should be following, our gaze should be following our dumbbell. And time, good job. How are we feeling, BFIT Nation? How are we feeling, how are we doing? All right, this is a great time to wipe off, towel off, find yourself with some water here. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez here, pushing you every step of the way. Again, if you're new, if you're just joining us, this is our cardio-based workout for today, BFIT Nation. This is our cardio-based, really high intensity, lifting that heart rate, burning those calories here during today's Monday live workout. All right, team. Again, every Monday, we come to you with a programmed specific live workout. It could be cardio-based like it is today. It could be a hybrid of both cardio and resistance with a little bit more weight. Uh, it could be resistance-based only, really focusing on sp targeted muscle groups that we are specifically pushing throughout each movement. All right, team, cardio for today. So we're pushing through. Five seconds here. It doesn't take long to set up for movement number one. Jump squats, 90 degrees. Here we go, team. Third round, pushing through here. Think about our breathing as well, team. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you come up into that full extension off the floor here. Again, if we need to regress, we're up, finding our spot, back down, shifting nice and quick. 13 now. Last 10 seconds. Quads are on fire, glutes are activated. Five and out. Two, one, good. Good, shake that one out, shake that one out. Grab a pair of dumbbells here. Grab a pair of dumbbells. Again, scaling up in our row sequence, right? One rep for the first set and then scaling up after that to five, two, one. Here we go, team. Sumo stance, feet are wide in the shoulder width apart, pushing our hips back into one row. To our half burpee, two rows with our dumbbells. Nice and quick on our burpee sequence. Good job. Four reps here, we'll go to five, then we'll start scaling back down. Good. Last five seconds, team. Two. One, and time. All right, drop one dumbbell here. Ready for that single arm overhead extension with a reverse lunge. <laughs> Five seconds team, we are up and working. In two, in one, finding our space here. Up and overhead, full extension. Relatively straight arm right here. Good, keeping our chest up nice and proud. 
As we drop back into that reverse lunge. Good, two seconds. Last rep here, we'll switch arms. Good. There we are. Drive up through that front heel. Again, chest stays up. Good job. Finish this out here. Last three, two, and one. Good job, team. Good, as we find our weight, we're gonna take that half knee. 12 seconds here, team. Again, any of these movements, if they are not challenging enough for you, speed up your tempo, increase your weight, can definitely push you in the right direction here. All right, 40 seconds on the clock, half knee diagonals. Good. Nice quick tempo on the way up, driving up here. Our gaze follows our dumbbell. That's down at our hip. We're looking down. Nice control here. Go ahead and switch legs. Good. 12 outs. Good. Keep that chest up. Five and out here, team. Last set here out of round three. And time. Let's recover here. Find our breath. Find our water. Roll that dumbbell away. All right, team. Pushing through. Pushing through here. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comments below. 60 seconds of rest here. Now is a great time to really adjust, right? Recalibrate. See how our body is feeling for that last and final round. All right, team. Good work, good round. Keep pushing. Stay hydrated as well. All right, Be Fit Nation, stay with us here. 20 seconds here, less than that. Movement number one, all right? If you have been modifying on the way down, let's try and scale up. Get a little bit of air, at least for 10 second intervals here, all right? 10 seconds of air, 10 seconds steps. Two, one, all right team. Let's go, 40 on the clock here. Good, again, nice soft landing here. Absorb that weight. Moving with intention, with the purpose here. Keeping that nice, great form on the way down, right? Showing that strength that you have to control your body. Good. Good job, team, 13 and out here. Not always easy, right? Eight and out, seven and out, keep pushing. I know it burns. Last three, two, one, and time. Shake that one out here. Shake that one out. Shake it out with me. <laughs> All right, 14 seconds here. Finding that resistance that we choose here. Sumo stance with a rope and a half burpee coming up in five. All right, team. Here we go, 40 on the clock, find our foot placement. Here we go, again, going up in our rep count. I'm at two, two rows, one burpee, three rows. Setting those hips back, our chest is looking down, our head is looking down towards the floor here. Good. Good job, half burpee there. Anytime you need, stand up, reset. I got the five reps here. Good, finish out our whole time here. And time, good job. Dropping one dumbbell, keeping one dumbbell. Dropping that rear knee down, keeping that chest up. There it is. Good. If you notice that front knee is tracking at about a 90 degree angle, so is that rear knee. Dropping down, keeping that chest up, arm is up. There it is, team. Nice strong momentum, nice strong form. 
Last five. Finish this out, team. Two, one, and recover. Good job. Keeping with one bell. All right, team. Good work. I know it's a tough one here. Diagonal lifts, we're pushing through. Taking one knee stance. Up in three, two, one. All right, team. Here we go. Good. Again, we are thinking about core activation here. Oblique activation with that twist as we go up from that half knee. Shoulders activated into that overhead extension. Go ahead and switch legs. 15 and out here, team. Good, last 10. There you go, team. Good. Last three, finish this out. Two, one. Good work. Give a hand clap here. Give a hand clap for yourselves. Give a hand clap for your community here, BFit Nation. Good work. Walk it off, towel off, hydrate as we put our weights back. Good work today, BFit Nation. Again, as I come closer to us here, any notes, any comments? Good to see you, BFit Nation. I see you here. Good work. Way to join us. Catching our breath here. Again, great work today. This was just, it wasn't a normal workout for us today, team. It was a cardio-based workout, really pushing us, right? Push, pushing us to fatigue, pushing us to failure, pushing us with that heart rate elevation. Again, bringing those additional calories throughout our workout, team. All right, this is what it's all about, really trying to increase and, and create awareness of where our body's moving through our space, right team? Right, really focusing on our heart rate intensity, where we can push, where we can kind of let off and catch our breath uh, throughout our workout. But great work today, again, it's all about pushing through to the best of your abilities, to the best of your comfort, wherever your fitness level may be, there's always a regression. There's always a modification that we can do through our BFIT live workouts, right? Whether it's scaling back to meet our fitness level or maybe it's scaling up to get a little bit more of an increased intensity workout, right? We can always do both, right? No matter where we are at within our fitness level, give the right amount of effort that you have for today. It's gonna be great, all right? As always, BFIT Nation, our exchange is here to help support you. All right, team, visit our stores. Visit our store uh, in person. Visit us online at shopmyexchange.com, all right? If you're looking for athletic apparel, sporting goods, uh, footwear, fitness trackers that are great to really navigate your workout, to really check your heart rate elevation, to really think about the steps you've taken throughout today that can maybe help motivate you, or just uh, an overall awareness of our well-being, right? Fitness trackers, we have it at Shop My Exchange in store or online. If you step outside of our main stores, you visit our wellness services, we have a lot of options available for you there to treat ourselves from the inside out, right? Whether it be chiropractic care or cryotherapy to help with recovery and that process, right? As hard as we work in the gym or in our fitness space at home, wherever it may be, we want to think about that recovery process as well, getting a good night's sleep, um, feeling rested, right? Uh, treating ourselves with that recovery process to healing our bodies to get ready for that next intense workout. All right, team. Uh, moving on to wellness and nutrition, right? Nutrition is a big part of our overall diets as well as our overall health and wellness our healthy lifestyle. So visit us at our exchange restaurants where we have more than 1,700 restaurants available for you right at the store to keep you fit and on track and get you in that nutrition state of mind, right? Surf to those menus where you can find better for you options. When you go outside to our express stores, we take the guesswork out of smart snacking options uh, with healthier choice shelf level tags, right team? If you look for that tag on any of our aisles, you'll see more than 400 items that are tagged with that specific tag that help take the guesswork out of our smart snacking options to kind of fuel you through your lunch, your main course meals, if you will, and plug in those smart snacking options team. All right. And again, if you need any additional information on our BFIT live workouts or our nutrition or our gear or our wellness services that are available to you on your specific installation, hit up our exchange hub, right? Our BFIT exchange hub that you'll see right here. We have everything that you may need. Scan that QR code that is on screen right now. That'll take you directly to 
our wellness art exchange bfit hub you scroll down you see fitness you see nutrition you see wellness you see all of our programmed workouts you'll see our press releases additional home workouts and you'll see additional content uh, that may be specific for you, whether it's running, whether it's wellness services, again, at your installation, whether it's nutrition that we can dial and help dial you into any type of creative meals or things of that nature, wellness services, and our gear that we offer to help keep our bodies moving in an active lifestyle. We have it there on the Hub team, all right? Most of all, great work today, right? Ready to start our week off nice and strong. Continue to push through, and if you need to revisit this specific cardio-based workout, it'll be available for us on that hub or on our Exchange Facebook page under our BeFit playlist. All right, that's where we will, that's where we will categorize it. That's where we will keep it there, uh, as well as the wealth of other content that we have available on our playlist under videos. All right, team, great work today. Way to push through. I know I felt every bit of those movements um, and that heart rate increase. All right, team. So good work today. Again, way to push through. And uh, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes right here, signing off until next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you then. All right, team. Keep it up.